Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET Nuke Corporation. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can use secure folders in .NET Nuke. Now, what secure folders are going to allow you to do is going to allow you to restrict access to various files within the .NET Nuke file system. Now, each portal or website in .NET Nuke has its own collection of files. The standard file manager and the standard folder system is going to allow anyone to access those files if they know the direct URL. What we're going to be able to do with secure folders is to restrict access to various folders and files so we can control that, that level of access. We can control permissions. We can control the outside usage of those URLs. So we're going to do that by either setting up folders that are secured on the file system or secured within our database. So we're going to do that by switching over to a .NET Nuke website. Now this is currently running .NET Nuke version 5.6.2 Professional Edition. Now here within the file manager, which can be found under the admin menu, you can see we're in the portal root for this particular portal. This one happens to be portal ID 0. And there's a folder inside of that portal root called images. Now we've populated this images folder in a previous video with a collection of images. Now with a standard file and standard folder like we have here, if I come into my website and I'll open up a new tab, I can type in the name of my website .NET Nuke demo.com slash portals slash zero because I know the ID of this portal and then the images folder and if I happen to know one of the names of those images I can type in that image and access it now let's just double check that I got the right file name and we'll try 2647 so I need to type in the full URL If I type in that URL and try to access it, it's going to allow me to load that image. Now, it's a rather large image, so it's going to take a moment to load up here within the browser. But that'll work for any file within a file system on the website. If you know the path, you're going to be able to access that particular file. So you can see the image loads up here, and it's resized because of uh, the browser. But what we can do within .NET Nuke is we can restrict that access. We don't want people to be able to hot link to some of these files. So what we can do is we can create folders that are secure. Now to do that, you need to start at the portal root or wherever you want to create the secure folder. And then you get to choose what type of folder you'd like to create. Now you have to do this for new folders. You can't change the security on existing folders. So if I want to create a secure folder using the file system, I can do so. And what that's going to do is .NET Nuke is actually going to rename the files as we upload them to a different a kind of obfuscated file name that can only be accessible within the .NET Nuke linking structure. The secure database will actually store our files within our database, within our SQL Server database, rather than on the file system. So let's go ahead and create two folders. I'm going to create one first with the secure file system. And I'm going to call this one SecureFS. I'm going to give it the name, and I'm going to choose to add the folder. So that's going to create a folder here within my file manager. And you can see that that folder is now designated as secure with the lock icon. Now, if we go ahead and upload a file into that folder, I'm going to choose Upload here. I'm going to browse to a file. I'm just going to choose a, another one of those images from my local computer. And I'm going to make sure it goes into that SecureFS folder. I'm going to, I'm going to choose Upload File. Now, let's go ahead and take that file name. And if I go over here to the window in .NET Nuke or the tab that I had open accessing that previous image, if I replace the URL with securefs slash and then the name of that JPEG file, and I try to hit enter, it's going to return a 404. Because as we uploaded that file, it didn't actually get named that. It got put into a secure folder, so the name of the file actually got renamed. So let's go ahead and see what the name of that file is. I'm going to connect to the file system with FTP. So I've pulled up my FTP program, and I'm connecting to that particular server. And if I come over here to the zero folder and into the secure FS folder, what we see is inside of that folder, there is a file with that name but it has a different extension. It has a dot resources extension. So what .NET Nuke is actually doing is securing that particular file by putting a dot resources extension on it. 
Now, if I go back to my browser and I try to type in that, that file name and then dot resources, we're not going to be able to access that. The reason for that is IIS or our web server will not allow users to access or download dot resources files. It's a restricted file. Now what .NET Nuke is actually going to do in order to allow users to, to utilize that image, if we go back to the file manager here and we can dive into that secure FS folder. When we, when we browse that folder, you can see the image shows up. When we click on that, it's going to allow us to download it. .NET Nuke handles the renaming of that file and the distribution of that file. So we can actually access that file now within our HTML modules, within our rich text editor, however we would like within .NET Nuke. Now we can also control permissions on the folder using the permissions grid down below. Now we'll demonstrate that in a future video. Let's go ahead and create another folder, this time using the secure database option. So I'm going to click on portal root. And I'm going to choose secure database and I'm going to choose to give it a name of secure DB. I'm going to go ahead and click on add folder. That adds the folder. We can see it show up here in the, on the, the list on the left. And you can see it's called secure DB and it has a DB icon rather than a lock icon. Now if we go ahead and upload the exact same image into that folder, choose upload, file's going to get uploaded there. Now if we go over here in the into FTP and we refresh our, our zero directory, We, we see there's a folder here called secure DB, but if we click on it, there's actually nothing in that folder. It's not being stored on the file system. It's now being stored in the database. So what we would have to do is we would have to connect to our database in order to see that information. Now if we go back to our file manager and navigate into that secure DB folder, the image will show up and we can click on that image and download it. Now we're just securing file names at this point from a, a URL perspective and an access perspective, we're not controlling who has the ability to view those or the ability to download those. We're just making sure that those files are only accessible within .NET Nuke. So in future videos, we'll go into more advanced security there on the various files. In the meantime, I'd encourage you to check out our .NET Nuke training page. It's found under the resources tab on .NET Nuke.com. There you'll find a variety of free videos as well as information about our instructor-led training and our custom on-site and online training offerings. Again, this is Chris Hammond with .NET New Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.